The two fraternity brothers expelled from the University of Oklahoma for their role in singing the racist chant caught on video have been identified and have apologized for their actions. Parker Rice, who is 19 years old, said in a statement, quote, I am deeply sorry for what I did Saturday night. It was wrong and reckless. And the parents of 20-year-old Levi Petit issued a statement on their son's behalf saying he had made a horrible mistake and will live with the consequences forever. But the expulsion of these two students hardly puts to an end the problem of racism at colleges and universities across the country. Yesterday on social media, dozens of Twitter users indicated that the SAE chant had been around for decades and its use is widespread. Several noted the same chant was sung at SAE parties in Texas. Earlier this week, the rap artist Waka Flock of Flame, who was due to perform for SAE on Oklahoma's campus, canceled his show, saying he was disgusted and disappointed by the now infamous video. Joining me now is Jaquin James Malfer's hip hop artist, Waka Flock of Flame. Jaquin, thanks for joining me. There has been a lot of talk about your thoughts on SAE, and I'm glad that you finally have a chance to, to give us your, your views. Um, let me just first start with the apologies that came out yesterday. Are they enough? Okay from these two young men, are they enough? Uh, it's a start. It's a, it's a great start. Do you, do you? Clearly, I feel like it's a great start. Do you have, I mean, I guess the parents of one of these young men apologized on his behalf. What would you say to the parents of this man who's now been expelled from the university about his views on race? I feel like um, it's really not my position to tell a parent what to do with their child because I'm not their parent. But as a person that's concerned, I really feel like that people need to educate their kids on what really happened before they touch earth, in my opinion. Because I cl like clearly, it really means something. It really touched people and it really hurt people. There, Words really travel. And, and, and this has brought, I mean, I think the center of this debate <clears throat> is a word, the N word, that has, it is a really loaded word. It is a dark word with a dark history. And I guess I wonder, a lot of attention has been paid to you and your lyrics, and some folks have said that your lyrics are, are racist or they're disgusting or they're divisive, they're hateful in some way. What do you say to those folks about why you choose the words you do? Um, this isn't about rap. This is, what, this is about what happened on that bus. I, I, I really don't feel like this is about my rap music. This, is what, this, is what, this video is for what happened on that bus. I feel like they're running away from what we're talking about. What about the video that came out in addition to the one on the bus of the house mother who's rapping along with a Trinidad song and she uses the N-word several times in that video? What, what were your thoughts when you saw that? Uh, my thoughts when I seen that, words, were, word, words basically with no power have no context, but to me, they, they basically like just repeated just the same words. She clearly was just reciting um, a rap song, but what she wrong at was joining kids at being children when in her times and her era that word was not supposed to be verbally expressed by that culture of people in my opinion yeah i mean i think that's the question for some people it's like so there there, there are different videos obviously and i guess i wonder yes. if you think the the one of the house mom in some ways is less offensive because it's it's a song and and why is that honestly we're here to talk about what happened on that bus. I'm, I'm not here to judge that woman on what she like and what music she, she want to jam to, cleaning up our house or enjoying <laughs> her free time. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's fair enough. Uh, when, when you hear about these kids that they were expelled, do you think that's the right punishment? Once again, it's a start. This America, man. Like, everybody, everybody, everybody deserves the apology. Everybody deserves a second chance. So who knows what the future holds. This is a good, this is a, this is a good beginning, though. Yeah, I think that the, some people are concerned that they're going to go back to their world and are they really going to be exposed to the lessons of the 21st century and, the, and, and to learn to be more sensitive or educated, for that matter, about issues of race if they're no longer on a college campus, if they're not being exposed to people of different colors and backgrounds. Um, and I, is, is that something that concerns you? I mean, would you like to talk to them if you could? Would you go back to SAE if they invited you again? Would I go back to SAE? Yeah, at this point. Why, why wouldn't I? Because two, cause two people or, or a group of people. I know the whole SAE don't feel like that. I've been there before. I partied there before. I felt like a brother. I felt like I was down with that fraternity. So that's why I was like really hurt, like really disgusted, to be honest with you.
And that sense of violation, is that one of the main reasons that you canceled your performance? Yes, ma'am. It, it is a difficult topic, the question of race and, and how we deal with it in this country. And I think you're right, uh, Jacqueline, that sometimes we focus too much on the word and not the actions and beliefs. So we are going to talk about that a little bit more later. But thank you for your time, Jacqueline James Malfer, is better known, of course, as Waka Flock of Flame. Thanks for your time. All right, anytime. Thank you.